So let's talk about culture a little bit. So you say you don't have a high turnover. Do you set the stage when you're interviewing people? Mm -hmm. Do you set the stage their first day? How does how do you start infusing that culture when you're bringing someone in? We're incredibly selective, and I'm very proud of that. Yeah. Right now, I have 30 applications on my desk. We only hire once or twice a year, and we only have to hire once or twice a year because our staff is graduating out into other things. Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? We yeah. try to hire freshmen and sophomore because we want to have that four-year investment. Um, and so when we have 30 applications on our desk, we, we kind of comb through it, and we are looking for a lot of things. We're looking for diversity because I very strongly feel that we cannot grow as a company or a community if we surround ourselves with people who think, look, and act just like us. Mm -hmm. So I do look for diversity. Um, it's not just a, a fancy word or hashtag I like to throw around. Uh, if you look at, back at the last six years of Bristos, you're going to see a number of cultures represented here. Uh, and that's intentional. Uh, I also like to keep a 50-50 on men and women. Okay. I always get more applications for girls than I do guys. I don't know if guys think that it's not cool to be a barista. <laughs> it's like the coolest thing on the coast to right. be a barista, but around here it's like pulling teeth. Um, but I like I like the dynamic of keeping things, you know, 50-50. Mm -hmm. And uh, we actually interview all of our uh, potential employees three times, just like a real job. Because the second that they start working for us, we are training them for a bigger world. And that's kind of our philosophy around here, is that we want baristas to be the best job you've ever had in your life. And we want to meet that perfect trifecta I told you about. We want to be a place where you love who you work for, what you do, and who you work with. But to do that, we have to have good communication, and we have to have a huge level of respect. And we want to earn that respect. Sure. So we work beside our staff. And Edgar and I both work on our bar next to our staff. And it's not because we have to or we can't afford not to. It's very intentional that we walk the walk and talk the talk yep. and set the example for our staff of what we want them to look, sound, and, and act like. Um, and so in that interview process, we're already looking for somebody who's going to complement the family, who's going to help the family grow, mm -hmm. who's going to bring a new dynamic. Maybe we've got a lot of people with a lot of energy and we need somebody a little bit quieter. You know, I mean, we don't know what it is until they walk in. Sure. But of those 30 applications, probably only five people get interviews, and of those five people that get interviews, only one gets